Hey, Sam, good morning. Good morning, Mom. Sam, why didn't you still get ready to school today? No, Mom, today is a holiday, so I just wanted to spend my time by playing games and going out with friends. Sam, what are you still doing without having your food? Mom, I'm playing a very important game in my computer. So I'll eat once. I'm done with the game. No Sam, first eat. And then you can go and play. No, Mom. It's a very important game for me. Please don't disturb me. Oh Sam. Sam, why are you so late today? Where did you go until now? Mom, as I told you in the morning, I went out with my friends. Fair party. What? Party? When did you learn all these things, Sam? Oh, Mom. Come on. Partying, chilling, enjoying with friends, boozing, these are all very common these days. We are not supposed to live like worldly people. Because we are the children of God. No, Mom. Please let me be like this. Let me enjoy my life. Don't disturb me. Oh, Sam. Sam, I have been observing you since a few days. And I'm seeing a lot of change in your behavior. Mom, I already told you. I want to enjoy this life. And I want to live in a way how I like. So please stop telling me all these. Please don't stop me from enjoying my life. No, Sam, you already have heard about the story of Samuel in the Bible. Samuel was very obedient to God and to his parents right from his childhood. So when he grew up, you know how greatly God used him for his glory. No mom, please stop telling me all these things. There was no enjoyment in those days. And that's the reason they didn't do all these things. Okay, then tell me more about obeying parents. Because Samuel obeyed God. Mom, please stop asking all these questions and please don't make me feel so uncomfortable. Mom, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Many times, I didn't listen to your words. And, and I made you feel sad. Even though I know about God, and His goodness, I chose to live like a worldly person, and to enjoy life in sinful way. Please Mom, please forgive me. Wow Sam, I praise God for you. I thank God for bringing this conviction in your heart. You don't have to tell me sorry, but go to God first and ask Him to forgive you. Seek His help to live a new life. Mom. I'm feeling so happy. I'm feeling so delivered. I'm experiencing a great joy in my heart. Praise God, Sam. God has forgiven you. And He has given you a new life. That's why you are experiencing that great joy in your heart. I'm so happy for you. Thank you for praying for me, Mom. Can you help me to experience this joy all the time? Sure, Sam. If you want to have that great joy in your heart, you should start your day with God. Each morning when you wake up, spend quality time with God. Praise God for giving a new day. Praise God for what He had done in your life. Confess if you have any sins, and ask God to forgive you.
and spend time with the Word of God. Ask God to talk to you. He will definitely talk to you and guides you how to live your day. You can experience that great joy in your heart. Wow! Thank you so much, Mom. I am so happy to have such a wonderful, prayerful mother like you. Praise God, Sam. Glory to God. Okay, Mom. I will go sleep. Good night, Mom. Good night, Sam. So happy for you. Good morning, Sam. What are your plans for today? Mom, I'm just done with my quiet time. I am going to get ready because one of my friend is visiting me now. And we both are going to attend a youth prayer meeting today. That's good to hear. Have a good day, Sam. Thanks, Mom. Have a good day, you too. <laughs>